Let's demonstrate some of the various exercises you can do on your row trainer and let's have some fun. So ready to go Jode? She's going to grab the handle with an overhand grip and start with a low row. So she's pulling to about navel level, engaging the muscles in her lower back. With the overhand grip, she can quickly progress to a mid row, squeezing the muscles in the mid back, or go into a higher row, activating the muscles of the upper back and the backs of your shoulders, those muscles that are so important for your posture. One variation we can do is a static hold with the upper body, but keeping the legs going. I, one of my favorite sayings is to ge keep your muscles progressing, you have to keep them guessing. So we're just working the upper back in just a little bit different way. Now, changing to an underhand grip, Joe Day is going to start with a low row, working back to the lower back and engaging the biceps. Now, if we really want to get the biceps in the mix, she's going to actually add a bicep curl with the rowing motion. A little more advanced, she might hold those elbows a little higher and add a little more tension to the bicep muscle. Now she's going to hold her legs in a static position and maybe drop the elbows if you're getting tired and just work those guns. Good job. Okay, now next we're going into an alternating row. Overhand grip and she's going to start to row. Notice she is adding some rotation. So now we're working that waistline, adding rotation, getting those good obliques in the mix. Next, we're going to hold it on one side. She's going to choose an alternating grip, one underhand, one overhand, and away we go. Notice she's not rotating here, so she's using her core muscles to stabilize. Now she can add some rotation and actually use those obliques and core to add movement through the torso. Next, one of my favorites, she's going to go into a one arm row. Placing the handle right between her ring finger and her middle finger. And again, no rotation, using the core to stabilize. And then adding some rotation, maybe adding a little arm choreography. And now check it out. We're gonna go into a single arm row, row with a single leg. So she's gonna lift one leg and just focus on one working leg. Jode, you feeling that? You ready to move on? Yep. <laughs> okay, moving on. Back to an underhand grip. We're gonna really get the tops of her shoulders nice and, nice and heated up. So, she's going to, as she rows, bicep curl, but creep up into a frontal shoulder raise, working the front of the deltoid. Good, so we can consider that a level one. If you really wanna take up the volume, she's gonna lose the bicep curl and come straight up. And then again, to turn up the volume a little bit, she's gonna hold her legs in a static position and maybe do some pulses. And if you get tired, you can reduce the lever by bending the arms a little bit. Okay, you ready for some core work, Jode? Okay. And now she's gonna take the handle and actually take it out of the, the, the cradle and push it up and we're going to do some core work. So much better than doing it on the floor. We have a nice ergonomically designed seat. Does that feel comfy, Jode? We're going to start nice level one, hands across the chest, and she's just going to focus on squeezing those six pack muscles. If we want to add a little bit of, a, of a, a addition, she's going to do one legged lifts to start to engage the lower abs. The other reason I love to do abs on the rower is I can be working my back and working my heart rate and then take a break, do some abs, and then go back to another exercise on the row trainer involving the upper body. If we really want to pick up the volume here, she can take her arms behind the head and do some crunches. Legs are optional. And now like a level three would be to actually, ooh, nice rotation. Take the arms all the way overhead and then add some abs. Nice. Jode, you feeling that? Yes. Great. And then when she starts to fatigue there, she can go back to her row. 
So there is just a handful of variations. Have some fun, come up with your own, be creative, and enjoy. <laughs>